You know, it's about having the right fit, the right person with the right skills to run a second cup. It's not just about having the money, but it's about having the right person running the second cup brand. How much would it be necessary to open a franchise like this? Uh, it all depends on the location. This one costs quite a lot. It's in a, a very premium, high-end uh, part of Birmingham, New Street. It's a premium shopping uh, street in Birmingham. Uh, and, and this cost in excess of a quarter of a million to open in excess. Haven't done the final numbers yet. James, would you care to tell me about the history of Second Cup Birmingham? Yeah, uh, well, the, uh, we started the process about two and a half, three years ago of bringing Second Cup to, the, uh, to Birmingham and uh, slowly but surely we got the cafe open back in uh, November 2015 on the 30th of November just as the German market was in full swing so we opened to a bit of a bang when it came to sales. What was the most difficult part of getting it open? Oh wow, uh, the easiest part was uh, deciding why I wanted to open a second cup cafe here in Birmingham. Uh, however, the hardest part was convincing local landlords that we were a great brand that they should have. And that process took almost two years in the making, uh, which was very, very difficult, you know, various locations, and then finally here on Birmingham New Street, uh, we managed to get a fantastic location and I'm sure our landlords are very pleased with the final outcome uh, of the finished product of uh, Second Cup Birmingham. How did you choose the design and the look of the place? Yeah. Well, it was a collaboration, partnership with Second Cup International who uh, had various designs. Uh, they took input from the designers. Uh, the president of, Second, uh, president of Second Cup International, Jim Ragus, has great influence and great vision when it comes to uh, what a cafe should look like. And, uh, and this is a great testament to uh, what we brought to Birmingham. It's relaxing, we've got a library on one side, we've got a fireplace, a we'll log fireplace. So it's very cosy, it's your second home. You know, and that's what we were trying to get across. So, uh, you know, ideas about the library uh, had been done in other uh, places of Second Cup around the world. And here we've got a more of a rustic look with the charm of a retro look with the clock walls, uh, of, which is directly behind me, comfortable seating, because we want our customers to feel welcome and spend as much time as they want here, either working or relaxing having a, a great cup of coffee at the same time. You had some ideas of uh, yourself that you really wanted applied in this place. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it probably drove the uh, designers a bit mad when I said, I'd like a chandelier. And whilst the ceiling height is not too high, the, but they came up with some great Edison light bulbs uh, this, the, you know, the, the, the nice vintage look and they managed to put together something which wasn't extortionate when it came to cost but was fantastic and that's over by our London brick wall which is behind you. Jacks, did you have a similar experience in business before? What's your background actually? My background? Many years ago, uh, and I'm gonna, my, my age is going to tell now, uh, I, 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 w w I had a ch chip shops in Leicester uh, many, many years ago uh, and then eventually joined McDonald's back in 1989 and then spent the last 27 odd years working with McDonald's and working through the, uh, the corporate structure. Uh, so I'd been working in the food industry, the, the, uh, the quick service restaurant industry and had a great time working in, a, in the McDonald's uh, environment and learnt a lot. So I must be grateful to my previous uh, 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 company. How many baristas have you got here? We, we have uh, 14 staff um, and we have six fully trained baristas. 
amongst the team and uh, we also have Second Cup Internationals World Championship winner working here, Josh Nichols. So we're very proud of that. He recently won that coveted title after winning the UK uh, Barista Championships in Europe and then went on to uh, uh, represent Second Cup Birmingham at the International Conference where he did a great job. So we're very proud to say that we've got great talent working right here in Birmingham and to think that uh, all of our baristas had virtually no coffee experience deliver a great customer engaging experience. I'm very proud of our team. You mentioned the plans of expanding uh, Second Cup uh, in the UK. Could you give us a bit more details sure. on this? Second Cup have a, 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 a very ambitious uh, vision to have 500 uh, cafes in the UK within 10 years. I'm pleased to say that it's highly likely by the end of the year there'll be 10 in the UK open. You know, currently there's three and another two opening in less than four weeks. One in Harrow and another one in Putney. And then soon to follow after that, somewhere in the middle of summer, will be Cardiff, I believe, and then another one in London. So the brand's growing pretty quickly. There's a lot of interest in the brand here in the UK because we bring something different that uh, our competitors can't bring which is a huge variety of coffees. We're not constrained to the uh, single bean uh, but we have lots of different coffees like Cusco from Peru, uh, Lamanita, we have Colombian, we have Indonesian coffees, Brazilian coffees as well and, and it goes on, Ethiopian as well. So you know we can bring a lot to the brand. Let's see what the customers have to say about Second Cup Cafe in Birmingham. This is a regular spot for me, yes. And why is it? So? Why? Um, I think it's because it's quite a unique spot in, 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 in Birmingham. Um, apart from a friendly manager and friendly staff, but the environment is... Um, is a place where I feel relaxed and uh, I also do a bit of work here, a bit of studying here and needless to say the conversations that I sometimes have with different people who pass by, who pass in, um, is for me a really, really wonderful experience. Working on our university work, enjoying some hot drinks while we do it. I really like it. I mean, I like the atmosphere. It's quite cosy, chilled, yeah. very relaxed. Um, I, I like the choice of drinks. I like the choice of 